To learn more about the science of corrosion and rust protection, we interviewed one of the world's leading corrosion experts, Dr. Digby McDonald. Dr. McDonald is currently a professor with the Departments of Materials Science and Engineering and Nuclear Engineering at the University of California at Berkeley. In his distinguished and award-winning career, Dr. McDonald has published more than 930 academic papers in scientific journals, books, and conference proceedings. He is the author of four books, is the holder of 10 patents, and in 2011, he was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Here are just a few of the many awards Dr. McDonald has received in the past 30 years from all over the world. In this exclusive interview, Dr. Digby McDonald explains what causes corrosion and how Final Coat's patented technology protects automobiles against rust. You have to understand that nature is trying to take the metals that we win from ores back to their natural oxidized state. Okay, and that's, that's called corrosion. Partly because the of the environment. When we uh, drive cars along the roads in the northern part of North America, of course there's salt on the road, which is put there to uh, de-ice the roads. And uh, salt contains chloride ion. And chloride ion is nature's agent for breaking down the phenomenon we call passivity, which protects the metal, and uh, returning the metal to its oxidized state. The final coat works essentially by inducing a current into the body of the automobile. The little box that you put on the automobile body, that current um, causes the passive film on the zinc to break down so the, the zinc becomes active again and hence protects the steel. It's like a radio antenna, same principle, a radio receiver takes an electromagnetic wave and produces a current in the antenna that we then amplify and, and we hear music. Okay, it's the same, uh, same principle. It employed a form of corrosion protection that had never been noted before. This was something quite new. Oh yes, it works. And you know, we've got all sorts of experimental data that says it works. They've got a, a stranglehold on the technology. I mean, it's well protected by patents. That doesn't mean that there are not people trying to copy it. There's always people trying to copy it, and that, of course, is, is the best form of flattery.